In this video, I'll show you how to use the Reminders app in your iPhone to increase your productivity in 2018. Stay tuned. Welcome back to today's video where we help real people live great lives. Today I'm gonna to be showing you one of my favorite productivity apps and just one of my favorite apps in general on my iPhone. It's probably the app that I use the most on a daily basis, that's for sure. Uh, you can see as I swipe back and forth, you see all the different apps that I have. Um, but this is definitely, like I said, one of the best apps that I use every single day to keep myself organized to know all of the things that I have to do. So it's in the top right of my phone. It's right where my thumb would typically be if I'm resting on my phone and open up the reminders app here. So you can see the very first thing that it does is it lists um, a bunch of different lists. I can name them appropriately. Uh, at the bottom you see the reminders list. So this is just a general reminders list that I have. You can see um, the very first thing I have to pay my bill that reminds me monthly at five o'clock p.m. on the 24th and a little uh, notification will pop up on my phone telling me that I have to uh, go through and just make sure everything's in order, everything's correct. Um, so that's just general reminders that I use. There's some other ones like, let's say YouTube. This is for the YouTube channel that I have. Um, it's not this one, it's the How To Scholar. It's an education channel where I make math and science videos and stuff like that for students and teachers. So if you wanna check that out, feel free to go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Um, you can see these are potential video ideas that I'm just keeping track of. When I have an idea, I pop it in to the YouTube list. Some other things, let's look at something like, um, for this YouTube channel, Greatness Every Day, maybe potential um, video ideas there as well. So those are just some of the things that you can do. You can make lists. And then the schedule tab is kind of like a master list. So I look at this right now, the only thing that I have scheduled for today is um, my Anchor podcast. I need to uh, get in touch with Anchor as well. Um, some future upcoming events are all down here. So you can look at those and you can minimize that. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to do three things. How to make a list, how to make a reminder, and how to delete uh, a list or delete a reminder. So let's jump into the very first thing. How to make a list. The top right part of your screen should have the plus sign. And what I'm gonna do is just select that and that allows me, that's the create button, that allows me to create either a reminder or a list. And I'm gonna make a list and just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna say it's the reminders app video list. And then I'm going to go down here and select done. Okay, and you'll see that that list is there. If I wanted to change the color, I can go back into the edit button, change the color to, let's say, blue. I like that color. So, the Reminders app video list is now created on my phone. To add a reminder, you can do this two ways. You could go back into this uh, home screen and select the plus button and select reminder. I typically like to go into the list that I want to add my reminder in and then just select the very first um, section of that page to put in my reminder. That brings my keyboard up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say intro video and I'm gonna then select this little I, the information details button on the side, on the right hand side, and that brings up a more detailed list for me. So if I wanted to change the title, I could just select in that box, intro video, uh, let's say in brackets, done today. Remind me on a day or remind me on a location. I typically like 99% use remind me on a day because I know there's a certain time um, that I want to be reminded of this certain day and time so I just select that some people if they have location services on their iPhone on they will select remind me at a location so all that that does is simply maybe I wanted to set my location for my work and I go into work on Monday the start of the week and all of a sudden my phone recognizes that I'm at work and it brings up all of the reminders I have um, that are related to my work. And so that's very convenient um, if you choose to have location services on and choose to put your reminders in that way. I'll show you how I do it. I go remind me on a day and right now it is a 1245 on a Saturday afternoon. I'm going to select the alarm. Today sounds great. 
I'm gonna set it for 1250, just so that it goes off. I can show you for the sake of this video what it looks like when you get a reminder. Then I am going to be going down to the bottom of that screen priority list. There's no priority, there is um, single and different uh, very varying priorities. The maximum would be the three exclamation marks. I want to keep it in the reminders app video list. And if I want to add any notes, I'm just gonna say here for the greatness everyday YouTube channel. Okay, I typically don't put notes in because when that reminder pops up, I already know what it's for, obviously. So um, then, then I'm going to select done and that finishes my um, reminder as you can see there. I can go back to the home page and my reminders app video list is there. When I open it up, it should be in the um, actual list. And also when I go to the schedule that says two items are due today, they've added that extra one and it's first and you can see the three uh, or maximum priority there. So let's go back here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you first what it looks like when a reminder pops up on your phone, and then I'll show you how to delete a list or delete a reminder. So you can see here that uh, the reminder app pops up on my phone. It says the intro video is done today for the Greatness Every Day YouTube channel. I'm just then going to swipe and open that up. And you'll see here it pops up to my uh, reminder that I set. It's done today, therefore I can go in and I can select the details. I can change it if I need to. Um, then I can select done. I could also, and I didn't say this before, I could also add a repeat every day, every week, every two weeks, every month, every year, um, if I wanted to dismiss that. Um, I'm going to select done, and typically to delete it, I just swipe from right to left and I select delete, so that deletes the reminder. And then to delete the list, I'm going to go into the edit um, tab, select, select edit as my option, and then go down to the very bottom, it says delete the list, and I can do that from here. Delete the reminders app video list, and I'm going to say delete. And then you see back here, it brings me to my home page, and there is um, the only one event scheduled for today. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video as well as what other productivity apps do you use to keep track of everything that you're doing in your day. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and uh, subscribe for more.